I've been experiencing like severe insomnia. Like I don't know that I've slept in days. You can probably tell I have like a lot of weird energy right now. But two nights ago, I was up all night because I had a memory of something and I was so angry, I started writing an article. And I've realized that when I angry write articles, it is just so likely to be published somewhere. So I thought I'd get ahead of this and also do a video. Um, when I was in undergrad, when I was in college, I was I was morbidly obese. I'm gonna just be honest. I, I believe in health and happiness and love at any size and in college, I was not healthy at all. I don't think I could walk two blocks without feeling winded. And my senior year, I decided to take a dance class. I think I had to do something movement-y. I don't remember, there might've been a prereq, but I decided to take a dance class, which when you're feeling, when you're out of shape, when you're struggling with your body, that's that was like a scary, brave thing that I did. And the professor of that dance class um, could not have been more, non-inclusive and mean and awful. And I'm thinking about, I think, two or three stories that super stand out. So I'll tell the first one. My Tourette's in, so I often took breaks from class. If it was longer than 30 minutes, my, like I had disability accommodations and I was allowed a break from class. If anything, to like get out of the space and like make noise and let my Tourette's out and like be in control of my own body. And in dance, although I thought, you know, because I'd be moving, I wouldn't need that as much. Turns out I did because it was really hard for me to pay attention and follow the dance movements and instructions if I hadn't taken a break. So I let the dance professor know that like, I'm gonna take a five minute break in the middle and I would go sit in the hallway and just like let my Tourette's out and like center myself back into my body as much as I could at that point in my life. And another professor who I love, by the way, walked by, we had a conversation. I was like sitting in the hallway and I guess she told on me, I get it. But she was like, why is Pam sitting in the hallway? She wasn't doing anything. And the professor then told me I could no longer take a break because I wasn't doing what she expected me to do during a break. I was just sitting there. And I was like, what? Okay, like that is the break. Like the break is that I just can like do what I need to do in my body for a few minutes without anybody watching. And she got really upset about that. And I had to like get the disability team involved and included. But here's the day that I remember like, really hating her. Um, so I was in a larger body, which means that there were certain dance movements where you couldn't always see if I was doing it correctly. I remember one thing and we were on all fours <laughs> and it was like a moving your back up and down but because I was in a larger body, it was hard to see. I wore a lot of baggy clothes. It was hard to see that. And so we had like halfway through the semester, she told me I was failing dance. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Hated her. So I was failing dance. And I remember sobbing. And I was like, why am I failing? Like I'm here every day. I'm learning the dance moves. I used to dance as a kid. I loved dance. She made me hate dance, by the way, for years and years. But I loved it. And so I scheduled time to meet with her. And I wonder if she remembers this, but I remember her saying, I don't think your body's doing what it's supposed to be doing with the dance. So you're failing. One, can you imagine failing someone who's trying so hard from dance and they have like a neurological movement disorder, but their body isn't doing what you tell it? Like, can you imagine saying that to somebody? But at that moment, I was like, no, I actually think I am doing it. I think I'm doing it correctly. So she said, I want to like see you do it. So I, I had to go through the movements that she had taught us. And she was like, I still can't tell. So she was like, are you willing to like take your top off and be in a sports bra or pull your shirt back so it's really tight so I can see your body and what it's doing? And I remember I wouldn't take my shirt, but I pulled it back so it was really tight so she could see what my body was doing. And I remember her touching my stomach and my back to see if I was doing what my body was supposed to be doing. And in that moment, I, I, I sobbed through the whole thing. And I wasn't violated in like a sexual way, but I was more like violated in like, this woman gave me no autonomy of my own body. She like, it just was such a mind boggling experience. And I ended up, thank goodness, getting through that class. And I think I even got an A or B in dance because I think after that moment, she realized I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. But I remember we had to do a recital, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard for a semester long dance, a trimester long dance class. And a bunch of girls came to laugh at me, to like laugh at me and my body dancing. And they're people I'm friends with. And I, I'm sure they would say, we went to cheer you on, but like, I know they didn't, they didn't. And I know that. Um, 
I'm only, I've only remained friends with one of them after this, but I like, I remember them being like, you have a recital, we're coming. And I was like, please don't come. And they were like, we're coming. And I was like, please don't come. And they like cheered me on in a way that was like, we're cheering on the fat girl who's trying to dance. And I was hurtful and mean. Yeah. And that's one of those stories that like really, really stood out and sucked. And uh, I used to love dance. And after taking a class in college, it took me 10 years to go back to doing anything with dance. And now in New York, I do take dance. I take tap classes. I take like a Broadway class with like, you know, Broadway dance, but I won't film it. I won't let anyone see it. I won't do anything where it's dance in front of other people. Um, hopefully I'll pull myself out of that at some point because I really, really, really love dance and would like to get back into it. So if you are an educator who teaches dance, please don't do what that woman did. Please don't do that. And if you have had a similar experience or a teacher who just like took away all of your body autonomy, comment below. I'd love to hear it if you're comfortable like this, but thank you for letting me share my story. I hope you can tell that it's been a while since I finished college and I'm still angry about it. Still angry about that professor. And I will say this, there were two dance professors and one of them I love, I love. And the other one, I had to take a bunch of movement from her during like a college repertory theater term. And I, I do remember loving that, but it was things like you're moving through water. Now you're moving through paint. And like whatever my body did in that moment was correct. And I, I got that from that professor and I felt safe there. And so in, it was more of like movement improv and I loved her. So I don't, want, I don't want that professor to think this video is about her. I love that professor and her husband, but there was another one <laughs> who was viciously mean. And I don't think I ever told anybody about that office experience where she was touching me to see if I was doing what she wanted to or what she like wanted my body to do to get an A. With that, uh, keeping weird, you do you. Thanks for hanging out with me as always. And yeah. Mwah.